Hello, Leo. This is your November 2018 reading. Understand it will, it will not resonate with all Leo individuals. Keep that in mind, okay? I may pick up energies from the last reading and continue on with that reading, or I may pick up a totally different energy for Leo. Well, let's get started. This is for Leo, starting November 2018, full Celtic cross for Leo. November 2018, Leo. I do meditate on these, as you know, prior to shuffling and shuffling. But then we'll see what your income and energy is going to be. Hopefully they're positive, and then if they're not, we'll work for them. We'll see what we can do. But the moon card, something may be coming out that's hit, that was hidden. Deceptive behaviors may have come out. You may have found out a few things that you just didn't know. Could be about people, things, it doesn't matter, but things hidden come to light. Moon in reverse. Prince of Dis, I'm getting this in almost a few of the readings. Prince of Dis is very, very prominent in these readings. Could be a person. Could be an earth element. Someone taking on that energy. Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. Or it could be just like slow-moving energy or messages coming through. Could also uh, that you're dealing with a younger type earth, you know, sign. But it could be so many things. That's why we got to clarify in a few minutes. But what's crossing it? Is balance. Someone is feeling unbalanced, not feeling themselves, feel a little jittery, feeling like there's something wrong. The goal, you got the Ace of Wands. This is what's crowning you or the goal. Ace of Wands in reverse. It's a passionate offer that's not feeling it. You're not wanting to give it or some, you're not wanting to deal with an offer. You're not wanting to give an offer possibly. Foundation, the Knight of Cups. Again, not offering things. The Knight of Cups can be an individual. It could be a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or just someone who's not willing to give an offering, not willing to give an offer of friendship. Maybe that's what you're feeling with the Prince of Dis. You're not wanting to give this offer, or maybe this Prince of Dis is not offering it to you. That's the subject at hand. This is what the feelings are and what's around about the energy. In the past, you were hopeful. You have the star card. In the near future, you're not going to feel like you got 100% your happiness. You're going to feel a little blah. I'm going to clarify these in the near future. And I'm going to do the outside environment, what is coming towards you, and the final, final outcome. There's actually a couple outcomes, possible outcomes. But i got to clarify some of these first because uh, I want to get what starts out. I want to clarify what, what the beginning energy is and the current environment in the near future within the next week or so. So the Prince of Disc and the Art card, also known as Temperance, why are you there for Leo? I just feel like Leo's just not feeling real super happy now. Nope, they're not. King of Wands in reverse, that is your energy. It's in reverse, someone's not feeling 100%. You're not happy, you don't have your mojo there. Something stuck, something kind of stole your thunder or sunshine. As you know, the Knight of Wands could be another Leo. Could be Aries or Sagittarius also, but I'm thinking it's your energy. Can I have another card for this? Things are unbalanced, very unbalanced. Can I get another card, please, for Leo? Let's see what we got here. Knight of Pentacles, slow-moving energy. All these slow-moving energies. Possible missed opportunities with someone offering you something also. You got an imbalance here, and you may miss the opportunity because of it. Things are slow going, too. You're like, ugh, so slow. Okay, Ace of Wands. So it crowns you, your goals. Ace of Wands. Why are you there in reverse for Leo? Ace of Cups. You're just not offering anything out right now. Nothing substantial. I'm just, you're just not feeling up to a certain situation. It's not, you're not, it's not that you don't want love or, or, or passion in your life. It's just, you're just not feeling 100%. And I say that a lot with the signs, but it's the truth. It's not like you're, 
forcing it on anything or anyone. I think you may wait a little bit. You're just not feeling up to it. Can I get another card? The Ace of Wands and the Ace of Cups. Stagnation. You're trying to come out of that hangman mode. Of feeling stuck, but it's still kind of there. You're just feeling a little yuck. That's all. Foundation and Knight of Cups. Like I said, it could have to do with an offer or it could be a water sign in, in reverse. They could have something to do with all this. It could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, someone with it in their chart. Knight of Cups, why are you in reverse for Leo? Queen of Swords, you got a lot of people around you. Queen of Swords is a badass type energy. In reverse, they're they're really something else. They they got that rusting bitch face kind of look sometimes. You know, they 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 let you know when they're not happy or, or when they're displeased with you. So you got a couple of people around, or both of these type of energies could be in someone's chart. It could be how they're acting, emotional, and they cut to, like they cut their, their their words cut like a sword. Can I get another card for the Queen of Swords and the Knight of Cups? For Leo, you're trying not to think about them. You're trying not to, you know, ponder on anything about them because they're really in reverse for some reason in your life. That could be the reason why you're just feeling so blah and feel like unbalanced. Now, in the past, you had some high hopes. You had the star card and in the upright. Why is the star card in the upright for Leo? Keep on thinking the things that died away in your life. Maybe thinking about the past too much, things that ended. You, but you still have hope for something that ended. That's what I'm, I'm getting. Can I get another card for the star card and the death card in reverse? Could be that you're hoping to resurrect something in the past. Something that it wasn't really fruitful and, and good for you with the Empress in reverse. Just wasn't. But you're hoping still for it. You now, in the very near future, you're still not 100% happy. Got the Nine of Cups. It's in reverse. Why are you there, Nine of Cups, for Leo? Leo's still not happy. What's going on? And this is in the very near future. Because you didn't get the stable offer that you were expecting with the Ace of Pentacles. You're feeling trapped. You want better offers that may make you successful and be able to get out in the world and be independent. And you're not having that right now because you're feeling trapped and it's making you unhappy. Now, this is the advice card or the possible future outcome. Seven of Swords. It may, tell, it may state that to... Break away from something. Break away from situations that were, or behaviors that were not exactly up to, you know, moral sometimes. Or it could be, don't check them out on Facebook. Or beware that someone may be checking you out on social media. And it could be, the universe telling you to unearth something that was hidden from you. Something, you may find out something. It could be the universe saying something happened. You need to unearth it. You need to find out what it is. Seven of Swords. Seven of Swords. In reverse. Why are you there for Leo? Something's causing you a burden. This is what, what's causing you a burden. Some kind of behavior that someone needs to bring themselves out of. Can I get another card for the Seven of Swords in reverse and the Ten of Wands in the upright? Give me another card. Someone it had something to do with a past relationship that went south. Something that had to do with a third-party situation that caused some serious heartbreak. Someone may be watching you, or you may be watching them, but it's going to come out. But if you keep on, if they keep on watching you, or you, or you keep on watching them, it's going to cause you a, a burden. It's going to be too hard for you, so it's better to let that go for now. 
until you get yourself together. Okay, outside environment, what's coming towards you? Three of Swords again, you're still having heartbreak coming towards you. You're still feeling that. It's the outside environment. It's what's causing all this is heartbreak. Could have been third party, but it's just plain sorrow. You're, the Leos I'm reaching right now are having a hard time on this one. They're, they're suffering from past heartbreak, and they're still having hopes. And they feel tied to and trapped to it. They feel bound to it. Three of Swords coming towards Leo. Why are you there? A hopeless situation when it comes to a third party situation, even though you're having hopes. The person you involved with or who was involved with you and the heartbreak, whether you did it or somebody else did it to you, it could be just almost like it's hopeless, you know, from them. You're, you're dwelling too much on them. Someone else wanted to gain their independence and go out there and see other options and see what they wanted in life and live their life. And they might have caused you some heartbreak. It's like they just left you out. They just left you out. And you're feeling it. And I'm sorry about that. I really am. That someone made you feel this way. Hopes and fears of that Queen of Swords. You know, the resting bitch face person. Let's see if you're hoping or fearing that they're there. I'm, I can't see Leo's fearing too much, but maybe you are. Queen of Swords in the reverse. Why are you there for Leo? No give and take with this person. I don't know who this person is. You can leave it in the comment. I'm not saying name them, but what are they to you? But this is no give and take. It's like you're giving and they're doing all the taking. Or it could be, for some of you, just a few of you, that you may try to help this person that's in the reverse, and maybe they're having a hard time also. Maybe that's the why the Queen of Swords is in reverse. I just know the Queen of Swords is not a happy person. Maybe you're fearing that this person isn't happy. Well, it would be different for everybody. But can I get another card for the Queen of Swords and the Six of Pentacles in the upright? may also fear that you may have to make a sound decision and go what's better for you. There's nothing wrong with that. Final, final, final outcome. The world is your oyster. You can make it whatever you want it to be. You can make anything you want with the universe. It's like putting away the old things and starting something totally brand new. In the end, even though you went through all this heartbreak, which it was, and a couple people were involved, you felt trapped and you felt like offers weren't going to come in. But in the end, something's opening up. The universe is opening up a big door for you. Can I get a card for the universe? The universe is opening all thing, kind of things up for you. Why are you there, universe, for the Leo? Final, 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 final outcome. They're not going to move forward real, real fast. It's coming. The chariot is in reverse. It could mean a lot of things. The chariot, uh, it could still be moving forward. It may be a little chaotic. So the chariot in reverse, it could be still moving forward, but things are kind of like all over the place to get you there. But it's still coming because the world of card is there. So something ends that was pretty, that they needed to, that needed to end. So something else could open up. And I know that's like a cliche, but it's true. It's it's really true with the, with the universe card or the world card, as they call it in other decks. Can I get another card for the world card and the chariot in reverse for Leo? The lovers. Something else going to come along. Things are going to be a little bit chaotic. They may not even move as fast as you like, Leo. But something else is coming in the horizons. A door is opening. I don't know how long this will take. I know this is beginning in November, but it is happening. I know you don't feel the love right now. You're feeling trapped. You're feeling like you didn't get your happiness. Your heart was broken for sure. I mean, really broken. And the outside environment shows that, and it was a hopeless situation. And independence is trying to be gained. 
because someone was trying to branch out elsewhere possibly. And you do have legitimate worries. And I think you're giving more than you're getting in life. And you're going to have to make a choice whether to keep on giving or not. But I, like I said, I see a whole new world opening up. That's what this means, universe. May go a little bit slowly or chaotically, but it is coming. And it's something, it could be a partnership, there's something you love, something that's coming to you that, that you will embrace. Got the uh, Page of Swords here as the final outcome energy with the ending energy. This is having your truth and having your say. So eventually, I see Leo, even though you feel kind of stuck, which is kind of odd for Leo to feel. People say you're not acting like a Leo, possibly. But in the end, you're going to come out as the Leo form. You're going to take on that energy. Doors are going to be opening, like I said, and you're going to speak your truth with the Page of Swords. You're going to go out into the world with a gusto. You're going to regain that mojo, a word I'm using a lot lately. You're going to regain your mojo. Totally. You're just, gonna, you're just going through some little bumps and scrapes. Now I'll be returning with another reading for you. And uh, before November, before mid-November, for the mid-November readings. And I'll talk to you later, Leo. Keep, you know, keep your courage up. Th better things are coming. Talk to you later. Bye.